Welcome back everyone. Today we are exploring one of Windows most powerful yet underrated feature, the run command box. Built into all modern versions of Windows, this tool lets you access applications, settings and tools in just two quick steps. No more endless digging through menus or the control panel. Let's get started. And if you know you've not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button and then turn on the bell notification so you get updates whenever I post a new video. Accessing the run box is super simple. You can do this in two simple ways, either by the right click method or the shortcut method. For the right click method, right click on the windows icon and then select run. Either way, you can simply press windows key plus R on your keyboard to open the run dialog box. Now that you know how to open it, let's dive into some essential commands that can save you time and make you look like a windows pro. The first command you can type after launching the run dialog box is CALC. Then you hit enter on your keyboard. This will launch the calculator instantly. After typing this command and pressing enter or ok, the calculator pops up immediately. No searching, no clicks, simple and efficient. The next command you can type is PSR. Type PSR and then hit enter to open the steps recorder. Use this tool to record your screen actions for troubleshooting or sharing. Now, after launching this steps recorder, what you can try doing is click on start record and perform your action. So I'll just right click on my start button and then click on file explorer. And then I'll click on downloads and I'll open the compressed folder and I will select the 90 WinRAR file. After that, I will click stop and review. This will create a detailed step-by-step -step report of everything you did, complete with screenshots, ideal for troubleshooting with IT support. So as you can see, user right clicked. When I scroll down, user left click on file explorer, user left click on downloads, user mouse drag start on downloads, user left double click on compressed, user left click on name, edit in compressed so as you can see this is idle for troubleshooting with it support now for the next command type in task mgr after typing in task mgr press enter on your keyboard to open task manager in a flash from here you can monitor system performance or you can also end on responsive task or applications by just right clicking and then clicking on end task you can also check your memory your disk your GPU and then your CPU as well. Now, you can also type other commands like MSTSC. Type in MSTSC and hit enter on your keyboard. This will launch the remote desktop connection too. Perfect for connecting to other computers on the same network, whether for troubleshooting or accessing files remotely. You can just enter the name of the computer and then click on connect. It's simple and easy. Now, the next command you can try typing is MRT. Type in MRT and then press enter to run the Microsoft malicious software removal tool. Now, this built-in Windows tool scans for and removes malware, keeping your PC secure. You can just click on next and then select or choose a type of scan. You can click or choose quick scan to scan areas of the system more likely to contain malicious software. You can also select full scan. This one will scan the entire system and then this can take up to several hours on some computers. You can also choose or select customized scan. In addition to a quick scan, the tool will also scan the contents of a user specified folder. You can select or choose the type of scan and then click on next. This will scan for and remove malware, keeping your PC secure and clean. Now, to adjust display settings instantly, type in desk.cpl. After typing in this command, press enter on your keyboard to open the display properties window. From here, you can adjust the brightness of the built-in display. You can also select or use warmer colors like night light to help block blue light. You can also scale or change the size of text, app or other items. You can also change the display resolution. You can adjust the display resolution to fit your connected display. You can also check for related settings like advanced display where you get to see display information and then the refresh rate of your monitor. To customize your mouse settings, type in main.cpl then you hit enter to access mouse properties. From here, you can adjust the double click speed for opening a folder. You can also head to the pointer tab and then select a customized mouse pointer. You can also head to the pointer options and then select the pointer speed. And you can also check the box for enhanced pointer precision, which helps gamers a lot. And also you can tweak other mouse settings with ease. For the next command, type dccw. 
and then press OK. This command will open the display color calibration wizard. This handy tool helps you adjust your screen colors for the best visual experience. Now, another interesting command you can type is clean MGR. Then you click on OK. This will open the disk cleanup tool. With this tool, you can free up space with this cleanup. Go ahead and then select a drive. If it's drive C, you go ahead and select it and then you click OK. Now, this tool will identify unnecessary files that you can safely delete to free up storage. Example like the Windows error reports and feedback. You can also clean up your disk by clearing the recycle bin from here. You can also clear temporary files. After selecting the files that you want to clean up, head down and then click on clean up system files. This will free up space on your disk. Now for the next command, type in resmon, which is R-E-S-M-O-N and then click or hit enter on your keyboard. This will open the resource monitor where you can track your CPU, your memory and also your disk usage. You can also track your network activity to identify which apps are using the most bandwidth. And if you find any apps that are using your bandwidth, you can just select and then end the task, which can help or give you more FPS in gaming. To manage network connections, type in ncpa.cpl, then you hit enter on your keyboard. Typing this command helps you to view all your network adapters. Here, you can find all your connections, whether Ethernet or Wi-Fi. You can also right click to disable and enable any connection which can sometimes solve network connectivity issues. You can also select diagnose to diagnose your connections. You can also click on the properties to know more about your connection. For the next command, you can type in appwiz, which is appwiz.cpl. Then you hit enter on your keyboard. This will open programs and features windows. From here, you can view installed applications where you can select or right click any to uninstall, change or repair. Another interesting thing is you can also head to the left pane and then click on the view installed updates. This will view all installed updates on your PC, where you can also select any and then uninstall to roll back to your previous version. You can also turn on Windows features from here. You can enable the Net Framework 3.5 which includes the Net 2.0 and 3.0. You can also enable features like the legacy components and many more. The next command we will be typing helps you configure system settings. Type in msconfig and then press enter on your keyboard. This will open the system configuration tool. You can use it to manage boot options like the save boot where you can select the save boot option and then select network which will help your computer run in save boot where most malicious or viruses cannot run or operate. From here, you can also disable unnecessary startup applications. Click on the startup tab and then click on open task manager. This will help you to disable applications which you do not want to start with your computer. And if you want to disable the startup status, just right click on any of them and then select or click on disabled when it's enabled. This will help optimize your system performance. For the next command, type in MS Info 32. Then you press enter on your keyboard. This will give you access to system information, which provides details about your hardware and software. From here, you can see the OS version, which is the operating system version. You also get to see the system type, which is 32 or 64 based PC. You get to see information about your processor, your BIOS version, which tells you or lets you know if your BIOS is outdated. From here, you can also see your BIOS mode, which is UEFI or any other options. You can also get to see your installed physical memory, which is your RAM, and then your total physical memory, as well as the total virtual memory and then the available virtual memory. For this command, if you want to open drives instantly, just type the drive letter, whether C, D or E, just type in the drive letter and then add colon and then click on OK for a quick access. Also, if you want to open another drive, you can do same whether it is drive letter D, you just type in D and then you add the colon, then you press enter on your keyboard. This will open the drive letter D or the drive with the letter D. Another interesting command that you can try is OSK. Type in OSK and then click OK on your keyboard. This will open the on-screen keyboard, a helpful tool when your physical keyboard isn't working. Another interesting command that you can also try is Charm AP. Type in Charm AP, then you press enter on your keyboard. This will open the character map, 
where you can find unique symbols and characters to use in documents or emails. You can also choose a font size for your unique characters or symbol. For the next command, type in disk mjmt.msc. Then you press enter on your keyboard. This will open the disk management tool. From here, you can create or delete partitions. You can just right click on any drive and then change the drive letter and path. You can also shrink the volume of the disk. You can also click properties to know more about the drive. From here, you can also troubleshoot disk related issues. To manage your hardware, type in this command. Type in devmjmt.msc. Then you press enter on your keyboard. This command helps you access the device manager. From here, you can update or uninstall drivers. You can just select the drivers and then right click on it. With these pop-up options, you can either update the driver, disable the device, uninstall device and also scan for hardware changes. You can also troubleshoot hardware issues by clicking on the properties for more options. Now for the next command, type in firewall.cpl then you press enter on your keyboard. This will open the Windows Defender Firewall. From here, you can enable or disable the Windows Firewall. You can also create exceptions for some applications and files. And also, you can manage advanced settings from here. Now, let's conclude this video with some additional run commands. You can use commands like powercfgen.cpl to access power options. By using this command, you can choose or customize a power plant from here. And also, for internet properties, you can use a simple command like intcpl.cpl. Then you press enter on your keyboard. By using this command, you get to see internet properties and you can use this command for quick access. You can also access hidden tools with this run command. Explore other advanced commands like PERFMON. Then you press enter on your keyboard. This command is used for performance monitoring. From here, you can monitor your computer's performance. You can also use other commands like DXDIAG. Then you press enter on your keyboard. This command helps you access director's diagnostics. And from here too, you can also see your system information. You get to see your operating system, your system manufacturer, the BIOS, processor, memory, and then page files, and then the director's version as well. That's the end of this tutorial. The Windows Run command box is an absolute game changer for efficiency and productivity. Whether you are a tech enthusiast or a casual user, these commands can simplify your day-to-day -day task and make navigating your PC a breeze. Let me know in the comments which command you found most useful. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips like this. See you in the next video.